Alright, hello everyone, it's GStar321 here again, and today, as you can see, I'm playing more Mortal Kombat Deception, this time Conquest Mode. Now, Conquest Mode of Mortal Kombat Deception is, without a doubt, the most requested thing that I play. The amount of requests I get to play this is out of control. Ah, Shuchinko, you have arrived! Let us begin! Alright, so here we go guys, this is the start of Conquest Mode, and the first thing we need to do is train with this miserable fuck, Bo Rai Cho. Look at him. You have a long way to go, but every step is a victory. Ugh, even hearing him speak just makes me sick. How you maneuver in combat plays as much a part of your strategy as how you punch or kick. Ugh, why does he have to accentuate every word? Just fucking speak like a normal person. God, get used to it because we're going to be speaking to this guy a hell of a lot. Now I just want to quickly do something here. See that red coin there? Watch. Look at that, fucking Ermac. Look at him. And he just disappears. That's going to happen a hell of a lot in this game. Trust me, you'll just see lots of weird shit playing through conquest mode. Yep, so that's basically what we need to do here. We need to follow Apep and he's going to take us from dojo to dojo where we will train with Master Bo Raicho, that absolute fucking mess of a human being. Please excuse me, but I have to go put my money in a safe place. Well, excuse me, but I want that money. Punch her, and you will get a key. Now this key is the key to her house which is right here so let's go inside and as you can see lots of coins to collect so that side mission is now complete holy shit did we just kill her she's not getting back up normally if you just punch someone out they get straight back up well this isn't a good start is it Shujinka? you've just killed an innocent old lady how do you feel about that you don't give a shit, do you? It stopped raining. Look at this, I love how everyone's just walking over this dead woman's body. Like, no one seems to care. There's no rules in this place. There's no laws. This guy's obviously a guard. He doesn't care. I mean, I can punch him out and... Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, the guards are smart. They block and then punch you. But I mean, if you punch civilians, like this guy... Fucking get over here. Where's a civilian? Oh, everyone's going to bed. It's 10 o'clock at night. Okay, never mind. It's funny, you can just go in anyone's home and just rob them. Take their money. Shujinko is very bad. Definitely not a Earthrealm warrior if you ask me. First he punched an old lady out and killed her. Now he's going inside everyone's home and just robbing them. I just can't escape from this guy, can I? Bo Rai Cho, he's everywhere. Sneaking into my subconscious. Now, you'll note here there's a guard standing at the bridge. Watch what happens when I approach him. Move along, this bridge is off limits. <laughs> now, I don't know about you guys, but I think that was quite excessive. I mean, saying move along was enough, don't you think? There was no need to fucking punch me like that. That was completely and totally unnecessary. I wonder if he does it again. Let's see. You shall not pass. Yeah, he just keeps fucking punching me. Alright, I get the point. I cannot go across. Me, My parents will kill me if someone uses my key to rob our house. <laughs> Playing Mortal Kombat earlier. Come on. What the hell? That is just fucking ridiculous. Find the lost key somewhere in the park. Okay, so we'll go back to the park. And the key is right there. Let's have a look at it. 
key. Key found in the park. It's very vague. Yeah. Now it's quite funny because I actually went into this house before even getting the key. How? You know what I mean? Like, it wasn't locked. I went straight in there. So this guy is just fucking a dumbass. Like, his door was already open and he's telling me he needs the key to get in. Yet I already went in there. Before. When it was dark. Now have a look at this over here, question mark. I'm going to get it and just show you guys what happens. <laughs> the first time I got it, I thought that I died. You know what I mean? But... You just sort of become unconscious. I mean, let's have a talk to Apep. You'll see. Shujinko, you are awake. I was worried about you. Do you realize you were out cold for two days? From now on, you should be careful not to pick up everything you see, okay? Okay. So, the question marks, I believe, are either good or bad, but... I mean... Pfft. I don't know. I always collect everything, every question mark, but to be honest, I don't really see many of them. Earthrealm Village here is basically the only time I've actually seen the question marks. And trust me, there haven't been very many. You found it. How did you... Never mind. I do not want to know. Here is the reward I promised you. It is all the money I have left. 400 platinum coins, awesome. Now it's quite funny, if you go inside his house and speak to his wife, you get some pretty funny dialogue from her. Just have a listen to it. My husband told me he fought many men to get his wedding ring back. He is so <laughs> brave. Now I know why I married him. Uh, he was full of shit. Liar. Yeah, I think that's just a regular Lin Kuei warrior because we do meet Sub-Zero later on in the game. And you know how he looks in this game. He's got that Shredder outfit on, which is just bullshit. But at least it's more acceptable than that horrendous alternate outfit. Which you saw me rage about in my playthrough of Mortal Kombat Deception Arcade mode. And there he is, this creep. This peeping Tom will come in front of her house and just look in the window while she's undressing. Look at him. What a fucking mess. Talk to him first if you want. You should see this. At 2 a.m. every night, the woman in this house undresses in front of this window. I think she is undressing in front of the window on purpose. <laughs> Alright, so all you gotta do is punch him out like that and you will get 400 onyx coins and I want to go into here this auction house and collect the coin talk to this guy the coin in this auction is mine I found it on a quest many years ago it is said to be a magical item <laughs> I wonder if it was that coin I just collected that I just stole <laughs> pretty easy just hold down the R2 button Barai Cho swings at you like that. Look at him. Ah, very good. Absolutely unacceptable. Get some ham from the butcher to bribe the guard. This is probably the most random thing in the game. Like, why ham? Why not just give him money? <laughs> I don't know. Would you prefer money or ham? Like, a hundred dollars or ham? <laughs> it's just... I don't know. Anyway, you talk to this butcher, he'll give you the ham. You're right. The guard at the bridge must be hungry. Please take this ham to him. <laughs> Look at the <laughs> Look at the ham. A tender slab of ham, loved by guards in Earthrealm. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Why ham? Out of everything they could think of in order to bribe this guard with, they come up with ham. Why ham? I don't get it. It just doesn't fucking make any sense. It's so stupid. Ham. I love ham. Thank you very much. Anyway, you give him the ham and the guard walks away. And now we go back to Apep. Let us go to the next lesson. Let us go. 
Well, I gave him ham. That's why he got out of the way. A stray dog? Uh, yes, I, I found a stray dog. I am sorry, but I did not realize that he was a pet. I had the butcher cut him up for my dinner. I feel <laughs> awful. Here, take this. It is all that is left of him. <laughs> Look at that. Look at it. Dog meat. <sighs> anyway, you have to go back to that lady and give her what's left of her dog. This isn't going to be good. She's gonna scream. Here we go. Any news about my dog? This is my dog? Oh yep. no! Nico! How could they do this to you? I promised a reward for whoever returned my dog to me. Take this money, young man. I thank you for your efforts. Oh well, I guess it is not a total loss. Will you join me later for some Nico stew? <laughs> She seemed to get over that loss very quickly. Join me for some Nico stew. No thanks. <laughs> I love how you can just run into people. They don't care. No one may pass this gate. Oh yeah? Look, I just passed it. There isn't even a gate. What the hell are you guarding? What are you talking about? That doesn't make any sense. Oh fuck, is that that creep? It is. He's gonna go look in her window again. Fuck you. No you're not. You just don't learn, do ya? I love how when you go inside the houses, there's just uh, a table with a couple of chairs. Like, is that all they have? No other furniture? No kitchen? No... I mean, look at this. This whole house, it's just got a wooden table and a chair. What, do you, what would you do if you came into this house? What is there to do? Look at it. There's absolutely nothing here. All you can do is just sit in this chair and stare at the fucking wall. So when someone asks you how were your days off, you can just say I did nothing. And they say, oh that's bullshit, you must have done something. And then you can say, no, I literally sat at my desk in a chair and stared at the wall. That really is nothing. I think that's a quote from Seinfeld as well. Look at him. Look at that fucking mess. Bo Rai Cho, you horrible creature. Fight. What other combos have we got? Look at that shit. Fucking hell, how can you remember all that? <laughs> what a throw. Oh no, he's got out this he's got his walking stick out, he's dangerous. Look at him. Die! Okay, just Just relax. It's okay. There we go. Look at all the blood. It's like I just killed Bo Raicho. Now, something really bothers me here, okay? You can see at the moment we're standing at location A6. Now, according to a guide, it says that there is a chest here. Pretty much right here, containing Kenshi's alternate costume. I have played through Earthrealm here, no joke, like six to seven times prior to doing this run through and I could not fucking find it. It is just not here. I do not know where it is. Kenshi's alternate costume chest is a complete mystery. I have no idea where it is. I've tried looking, you know, through all the crevices here, like this is A5 technically, but it's still close to A6. I've gone... If you run along this fence here and take a right, I mean we're at B6 now, but if we go behind these houses, see it's A6 here, the chest is nowhere to be found. I don't know. Unless it comes out only at a certain time, but the guy didn't specify that, so that's bullshit. Forget it. 250 gold coins. 
And if you have a look at it, oh, I've still got the sack of flour. <laughs> I must have forgotten to complete that quest in the Earthrealm village. Oh well, whatever. There she is. Yeah, she just wanders around here. Talk to her. A lodestone. They are magnetic and always point north. I could easily find my way back home with that. May I buy it from you, sir? Would 50 jade coins be enough? 50 jade coins, come on. That's atrocious. It should be in the hundreds. What a fucking joke. That's not even worth doing that side mission. And we will complete it. Well, it certainly took you long enough to retrieve the Kira root for me. In any case, you did retrieve it, so I thank you. Take these coins as payment for your trouble. What the fuck? Did you hear what he said? It certainly took you long enough to find it. What a joke! It took me like a minute. Are you fucking kidding me? What the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> fucking take that. Now you're sick, you old bastard. Fuck off. Some of these people in these realms are just totally ungrateful for the shit you do for them, you know what I mean? Makes me sick. I'm going to talk to this guy. Sir, perhaps this is not the best place for idle chatter. Okay, I get it. You're monks in a temple, I understand you're all meditating. So, what does a young Shujinko do? He steals from the temple, of course. 75 blue coins. You play as that character. So we have to learn Borai Cho here. Sub-Zero's alternate bio. He gives a fuck. That was his disgraceful alternate costume as well. Okay, let me just see if I can loot any more coins in the area before I go ahead and start learning how to play as Borai Cho. I don't really want to do this. I fucking hate this guy, you know. You all know how I feel about Borai Cho, but this is unavoidable. It has to happen, so... I'm gonna bite my tongue and do it. Greetings, Shujinko. It is good to see you again. As promised, I will now impart to you my most powerful techniques. I am honored, <laughs> Master Boraito. I train my most promising students here at my home, away from prying eyes, to assure that my secrets are known only to those I trust. Now, let us begin your training. Fuck. Okay, here we go. So the game is now going to teach us how to play as Borai Cho. There he is. Borai Cho. Borai Cho. We're going to go through all his fighting styles. We'll learn his special moves. And by the end of this training session, if that's what you want to call it, we will become a master of Borai Cho. Well, I can tell you, I'm pretty much going to forget how to play as this guy. I will remember key combos because... Like I said, from this point on, every time I get into a fight, I'm going to have to play as Borai Cho for that fight. Until I meet the next character, and then I go through, you know, learning how to play as them. Which is actually Sub-Zero after this, so... Let's try and make our play with Borai Cho as short as possible. Okay, your next lessons will encompass sumo high attacks. Fucking hell, what a style, sumo. Pathetic. Okay, now Shujinko, you will begin your training with Drunken Fist High Attacks. Look at him! He can't even fucking stand still. Look, it's not really a problem, but trying to control him like this, it's... It's a bit awkward, like when you tap forward, there's a bit of a delay. Like he'll walk forward and then stop for a second. See how he stops and then he keeps walking? And it's the same when you press back. I, I absolutely detest... This fighting style, I detest Bo Rai Cho. I detest everything he stands for. He's an absolute fucking atrocity. Look at him! The next lessons will teach you drunken fist low attacks. Oh, let's end this, come on, do it. God, just walk there, you fucking piece of shit. There we go. Garbage. Good, now try this style branching combo. Ugh. 
garbage. There's just not enough hits. I hate all of Bo Raicho's special moves. They're just... I don't even know how to describe them. Impressive. Let us move to another special move. Oh no, this is the worst. Look at that. That is fucking disgusting. He can just bath on Q. Who can do that? Fuck, at least, you know, look at the bottle on his back. Throw the fucking wine on the ground or something. Barfing. It's disgusting. Puke puddle. Yeah. Disgusting. It's got pretty decent reach as well. See? That's all I do. I just fucking spam it. Because I'm just not interested in learning anything else with this character. Plenty of side missions. Oh, look at this. This is something that really bothers me, okay? Look look at how much room there is. You're telling me I can't fucking run through that? Look at it. Look at that. The physics sometimes in conquest mode are highly questionable. What's stopping me? Is there a fucking weed on the ground? And Shujinko can't step over it? He's just trained for five years with Master Borai Cho and he's fucking getting stopped by a weed on the ground. Look at this! What a joke. No chance he'll be representing Earthrealm in Mortal Kombat if he can't even step on a fucking weed. Okay, so let's collect all these loose coins. Yeah, like, look at this! Come on! You know, it tends to make navigating through these tree stumps very annoying. You need to sort of learn where you can and can't go. It just takes practice. Look at this. Defeat Sindel while starting with 50% health and you're bleeding to death. So you only start with half your health and to top it off, you're losing health as well. How can you do that? You have to kill her very quickly and you can't get hit at all, basically. Okay, that's it. It's over. I got hit. You know what I mean? See? It's okay, I'm in drunken... Look at this! You know, some of these fight challenges are just very, very unforgiving. I'll give it two more tries, and if I can't do it, then I don't give a shit. Ooh. Nah, that's it, I'm dead. That's it, yep. <laughs> Look how quick that was! Oh man, you know, so that was, that actually wasn't too bad, but my goodness, you wait until we get to Nether Realm and we meet Shang Tsung. <sighs> Talk about unacceptable, that is just, words are not enough in describing that fighting challenge, you have no idea, no fucking idea whatsoever. That'll be a surprise. Remember, just very lightly hold the analog stick up to walk. And when you get behind him, press X. Oh, my heart! <laughs> oh dear. Shujinko, what have you done? You have once again killed another innocent person. This isn't looking good. Let's see what his nephew has to say. Leave me be, murderer! <laughs> well, you told me to do this, you idiot. This was your idea. If anyone's the murderer, it's you. Fuck. Can we revive him? Can I press X? Nothing. He's dead. That's it. Like, look at him. There's no repercussions whatsoever. Like, Shujinko can just kill anyone he wants. Look, he can just punch anyone he wants. He can do whatever he wants. And nothing happens. You know, he could probably just, like, pick up this barrel here, throw it in the fire, and then throw it onto all these huts and just set all the huts alight and run off and nothing will happen. You know, he'll still be considered an Earthrealm warrior needed to represent 
Earthrealm in Mortal Kombat. Okay, so he just runs off. He doesn't give you a reward. <laughs> look at him. look at the way he runs. Look at him. <laughs> uh, I'd follow him, but all it needs now is just some Benny Hill music <laughs> to complete that picture. Oh, look at that! Come on, look at how much room... What is stopping him? Tell me. Tell me. The ground is flat. Look at this. I remember once I went all the way inside the middle of those tree stumps and it took me no joke, like fucking 10 minutes to get out because I just didn't know where I could and couldn't run. You know, I kept getting stopped like this. It was absolutely infuriating. Alright, let's try... Oh my god, and of course. <laughs> look, look at this. I can run past it running over the edge of this tree stump here, look, on the ground, but I can't pass through open ground, flat grass. What a joke. Okay, I can't go that way. <sighs> the physics blow my mind. I'm not even going to run in the middle of those tree stumps. There's probably a chest or a coin hidden in there somewhere, but I'm not dealing with it. Okay, let's go ahead and loot this temple. <laughs> it just kills me, you know. He had a conversation with Master Shen and Wen the Elder about wanting to join the White Lotus Society. You'd think a prerequisite for joining the White Lotus Society is to have morals, to be a good human being. But Shujinko is a fucking disgrace, robbing temples killing innocent people his soul is already tainted he's corrupt and actually that's interesting because in the next realm the nether realm <laughs> it's funny because you can't actually enter that realm unless your soul has a stain of corruption on it and you have to actually do something to get that stain of corruption but in my eyes Shujinko already has that stain of corruption don't you agree? Uh, anyway, let's talk to this guy. He'll give us a side mission. Fuck, can I have that submachine gun you've got there? Look at that thing. That would be nice to carry one of those around. Unfortunately, you can't get that gun. I'm not even going to dare try and punch this guy because... I don't know, I'm afraid he'll shoot me. Probably nothing will happen, but... I'm not going to risk it. <laughs> Looks like he's got heaps of grenades on his belt as well. Or is that just ammo clips? Probably just ammo. Must be glitching. Who the fuck knows? Oh no, look at this. Come on. God, it must be that strong weed that Shujinko can't step over. You know. God forbid the weed. That should be his opponent. You know, if he fights in the Mortal Kombat tournament against Outworld, fuck, put him up against the weed. That's it, the whole of Earthrealm is lost to a fucking weed. Forget about, you know, combatants like Scorpion and whatever, Reptile. Just put Shujinko against a weed, and he is toast. If only Shang Tsung. And Shao Kahn knew of his weakness. Alright, and at 7pm... Ken, oh sorry, not Ken from Street Fighter, Cobra will walk out of this hut and stand on the beach with his arms folded. And he is another fight challenge. So since we're close to 7pm, we might as well wait for him to come out. Hadouken! Sure you can! God. Who came up with this character for a Mortal Kombat game? Look at him! Stands there with his arms folded. Fuck you. Okay, so you're probably going to want to do this fight challenge because if you complete it... Actually, no, you're probably not going to want to anyway. Because, I mean, who actually cares about this character? But look, in all seriousness, if you defeat him in the fight challenge you will not only unlock a set amount of coins but his alternate costume 
So let's do it. Two serpents facing each other in combat. Will you accept this challenge? Reluctantly, I will. God damn it. You know, I find that if you spam the same move or the same combo over and over again, the AI tends to get very smart in regards to that and it will... See how it's just constantly blocking now? So you really do have to mix it up, otherwise... Yeah. Otherwise you'll just get fucking destroyed. If this takes me more than three tries... It's gonna be fucked. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, there we go. Done. So there you go, 350 platinum coins, and wait for it, we'll get his alternate costume. There you go, Coffin IP unlocks Cobra's alternate costume. Look at that costume. What's so great about it? He's just got a hoodie jacket on. <sighs> Fuck. Okay, so we've completed that. Let's see if we can find any coins or chests hidden amongst these trees. The game loves hiding coins and chests in amongst the trees because the game knows you're going to go looking for them. And it knows that this is exactly what's going to happen. You're going to get fucking stuck and it's just going to laugh at you, you know, like, yeah, he got stuck by a weed. Fuck you, game. I am plowing through these fight challenges. But remember, three words Netherrealm Shang Sung. You will be scarred like I was. And deliver. What the hell? Oh, there was some ducks. Fuck, I thought there was a shark in the water there. <laughs> Scared me for a second. Like, what do these people do all day? Look at them. It's like their their life is such strict routine. At 7am, on the fucking dot, they walk outside the front of their house and stand there, staring. I mean, look at this guy. It's now 9.45 a.m. He's been standing here for 2 hours and 45 minutes. 3 hours now. And this is all he does all day. Does he eat? Does he go to the toilet? Do any of them do anything? What is the purpose of their lives? Like, This, is, this really baffles me. I want to know. I need to get to the bottom of this. Like, look, look at it. Look at him. What does he say? I want to talk to this guy. May the Thunder God bless you. That's it? What about this guy? May Raiden watch over you. Oh, okay, I know what's going on here. Look at this. Remember this message we got? Shirai Ryu message. We will pose as worshippers of Raiden. No one will suspect. Well, these people are posing as worshippers of Raiden. So I suspect that they are members of the Shirai Ryu. And in fact, this woman here is. Remember, I told you to keep an eye on this woman. We'll need to come back to her a bit later. So we learn all of Sub-Zero's moves, combos, his fighting styles, and every fight we get into from that point on, we use him as opposed to Borai Cho. Thank fuck. Thank you, young man. When you see Borai Cho, Tell him I will drink him under the table when next we meet. <laughs> <laughs> I like that fisherman. Don't tell me I'm gonna lose this fucking round. It just. It's tedious, you know? It's. Oh, goodness me. It's easy, but it's just. It's boring and it's fucking tedious. It feels like it goes on for quite a while. Coin. We can't go in here. 
Only those who have proven themselves worthy may approach this shrine. Yep, so we can't go in there just yet. That's not until much later on in the game. And of course, they punch you out. A simple, please leave the area would have been sufficient, but no, they had to punch me. Thank God we're not playing as him in that absolutely fucking unspeakable second outfit. Yeah, we're just playing as him in this uh, shredder outfit. Which is still slightly unacceptable, but it's okay. I can deal with it. You pass. I just wish they gave him some decent outfit. <laughs> I love how the password is Ice Dragon. Like, couldn't they come up with something more... You know, something less obvious? Like, I don't know, anything. Like, Tree Branch, or scrambled eggs not ice dragon which is something that's associated with the Lin Kuei you know Sub-Zero himself <laughs> it's a joke that's the worst fucking password I've ever heard in my life okay now before I forget I'll just mention it behind this rock at about 6 p.m. a chest will appear and it's only there for three hours I believe until 9 p.m. That chest contains Sub-Zero's alternate costume. Unlock it at your own discretion. If you want to play as Sub-Zero in his alternate outfit, then go ahead and unlock it. If you do not, ignore it. I'm just going to do it anyway to show you guys, even though that costume disgusts me. So what we have to do is defeat Scorpion while starting with 33% health. Now this fight challenge is absolutely fucked. There is no other word for it. It is ab- oh. It's a bad, bad fight challenge. It's very unfair. Basically all you need to do is spam back forward circle, his shoulder dash move. That is it. If you try anything else, you will die. Believe me, okay? Believe me. So this may be cheap. It may still take me a few tries. But this is how you do it, okay? Fuck! I knew it! See, the problem is... Oh! This is actually... Oh, man. I, I, I despise the fight challenges in this game. Some of them like this just ruin it for me, you know. The first time I did this fight challenge, it must have took me, no joke, like 15 tries. See, you need to get in close to Scorpion, otherwise he will spam the spear. Now, natural instinct will probably tell you to do a throw or a combo since he's blocking. Believe me. Do not act on that instinct because the AI knows that you will attempt to throw or attack and it will just duck and counter. Believe me, okay? This is the only way to do it. What the fuck? Did they make this fight any more un- Oh, I knew it. See, that's why I sidestepped. Like, could they make this fight any more unfair? Why not start off the fucking fight with 1% health? And just make it fucked, like one tap. You know, if the scorpion steps on your pinky toe, then you lose. Like, how much more ridiculous can this get? It's disgusting. It is unacceptable, I'm sorry. It is. Oh, man. You've got no idea how much I want to, like, just do a throw now, but I can't, so no. It will miss him. Oh, no. Look at that! One combo! One combo and you lose. You know, the AI shouldn't... It should not be allowed to do combos on you for this fight. This is just unfair beyond belief. Look at how much he's blocking! Okay, I just went to do a throw there, and that's what happened. Yep. Always when you're a fair distance, he'll be programmed to do the spear. Actually, that might be a good tactic. Uh, 
Fucking up, it's over. Fucking up the inputs. Oh! Speechless. Speechless. Scorpion just took the words out of my mouth right then. Fuck me. There we go guys, I finally did it. Took me like another eight tries. What a joke. Fuck that fight. You you killed them all? You have not heard the last of this. We Shira Ryu will return, and we will have our revenge on the Lin Kuei. Yeah, whatever. While we're there, I'll meditate till about 6 p.m. and I will unlock Sub Zero's alternate costume from that chest. Not that I want to, but I'm just going to show you guys how to do it. That alternate costume should be illegal. Do you wish to review your training, Shujinko? If so, step inside my dojo. Ah, oh, shut up! Repeat your lessons. Fucking hell. These conversations just tend to drag on. Like, just fucking get to the point already. Cut the bullshit. Alright. So, Damashi is basically telling us, fuck the Lin Kuei, we have to follow his orders. <laughs> I love how Damashi goes, it is a dark and evil place. It certainly is, and if you remember earlier on I said that you can't actually enter the nether realm unless your soul is corrupt to some degree. Shujinko, while he appears to be a self-effacing sage, he is one sick fuck. He's a thief and a killer. And that's the only way to get into the nether realm. Very good start. Now it's quite strange, if you actually spend the time- Oh god, look at that. Look at that fuck. Look at it. Look, you know who that is? Yep, Shang Tsung. Remember how I warned you guys in the last video that the fight challenge with Shang Tsung is beyond words? Well, you are gonna see it. I'm not gonna do it just yet. I will save that for later. I do not have the patience to deal with it. I don't think I'm gonna do it. It's just... I'm gonna say that that fight challenge is impossible. There, I said it. You can't do it. No one can. It's fucking bullshit. But, dare I say it, I have done this fight challenge. From memory, back in the day, because I'm sort of a completionist with these games, you know what I mean? I do everything that can be done. I believe I have done this, but let me tell you, it took a very long time. It took a lot of willpower and discipline to keep going and trying and trying and trying, failing, 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 trying, trying. Minutes passed, hours passed, days passed. I grew a beard in the meantime. I lost about 10 kilos, but you know what? I finally did that fucking fight challenge. At this stage in my life, I do not have the patience to deal with that, nor the time. So Shang Tsung, fuck you. It just ruins the whole game, that fight challenge. It really does. It's fucking disgusting. Makes me sick. Let's talk to this lady. Yeah. So, a lot of these people here speak fucking weird. That was not English. I don't know what the hell that was. But, you know, quite a few of them will talk like that. They're fucking strange. I just heard a baby screaming in the distance there. Jesus. So that's where those hanging bodies came from. Where's the hanging bodies? Yeah, look, on the house there. So that guy we just spoke to said, lovely decorations, aren't they? I killed them myself. What the fuck is this place? 
are these people? I would not want to live here, believe me. Look at some of the shit in these houses, like what is that? What is that? I don't even know what that is. It's not a chair, you can't sit in it. I have no explanation for what I'm seeing right now. I don't know. It's someone's house, they go inside and that's what they see. Can you explain that? I can't, I have no idea. Chest here. So there you go, we just picked it up. Oni Tooth. Jarek needs three of these teeth to prove his worth to the Black Dragon. Fucking hell, I've still got this sack of flour. I am never going to get rid of this. That's bullshit. Until I go back to the Earth Realm later on. <sighs> Alright. It's time. I'm just going to show you guys what this fight challenge entails. I do not plan on completing this. I just have to show you what it is. Just look at it. You have interrupted Shang Tsung's journey in the nether realm. Will you defend yourself against his wrath? Let's try. Fuck this fight challenge. Defeat Shang... Look, look at the conditions. Defeat Shang Tsung while he is healing and before you bleed to death. So let me just put this into perspective. You are losing health rapidly. Shang Tsung is gaining health rapidly. Which means you must kill him rapidly. If you do not, you stand 0% chance of doing this. Let's just try this. I'm gonna do that last combo there to get straight into the Cory Blade style. Okay, so we're doing good so far, aren't we? But look at look at his health. Look at how quickly it regenerates. And look how quickly yours depletes. Fuck this fight challenge. Who came up with this? You know, I honestly think that this fight challenge was a mistake. I think that they... I don't know. I don't think they did testing on this fight challenge because... Who can do this? Who can do this? Look at this! Okay. That's the most... That's his best combo. It does 35% damage. Well, it only did 31% there. Oh my god. What the fuck's going... Uh. Whoa, I got, wow, I got really close there. See, the thing is, basically if Shang Tsung does one hit to you, it's over, you know what I mean, you're fucked. I'm going to go straight to the Cory Blade. This combo just does the most damage. See, if he blocks, that's, that's the problem, man. Once he fucking blocks, that's it. I don't know, I've got some hope now, because I almost killed him. I'm going to try this one more time. If I can't do it, I don't give a fuck. I might come back and try it a bit later with another character. Once we learn how to play... Oh wow, this is going to fucking bad. Look at that. i got no chance. See, he just sidesteps or blocks. Fuck you, Shang Tsung, I'm out. I'm returning to the map. Absolutely horrendous. Unacceptable. Keep away, mortal. I know you are after my totem. It is mine. No, it is mine. Actually, it's Nightwolf's. Punch him out, and there you go. Collect the totem. If you try, watch what happens. <laughs> And of course, I get punched, as always. Look at that splatter of blood on the ground. Goodness me. Now, if you're reading a guide, it will say Drummond is at location D6. I'm going to show you exactly what happened to me 
when I tried to go to D6, okay? So this is D6 here. I spent like maybe 20 minutes running around this whole area trying to find Drummond. Because, you know, the guide said Drummond will be at location D6. This is D6. Look at it. I meditated here for a week, okay? Trying to make Drummond appear. He is not in the outskirts of the nether realm. He is inside behind Shinnok. Look at this. How deceptive is this? This is barely D6. This should be called D7 or C7, you know what I mean? Fucking bullshit. Fuck you, game. That pisses me off. But anyway, let's talk to him. This asshole, once again, with Ermac. So let's give it a try. He is fucking ruthless. He blocks everything, sidesteps, does aggressive combos. This is the hardest fight challenge in the game. It is completely unacceptable. Who the hell came up with the idea for this fight challenge? They need to be... Oh, they need some talking to. Look at this! I cannot do anything! If I do a move, like, you know, if I try and do a special... Fuck this, I'm gonna give it one more go. I'm sorry guys, I just need to... I need to try it again. You know, if I do special moves, watch, I'll do one straight off the bat here. Okay, hang on. Fucking hell! Stop that shit! See, I mean, it's good, but... Special moves just take up too much time. You're losing health, so you've got to kill this piece of shit within like 15 seconds, you know? That's if you don't get hit. Fuck this, I'm done. You know, if you guys can do that fight challenge, my hat goes off to you. I applaud you. Yep, I'm clapping right now. Amazing. Well done. You deserve a medal for that shit. Reason. Fuck. Jesus Christ, that sidestep bullshit. Goodness me! <laughs> wow, he's gonna defeat me this round. Oh, I could come back. Yeah, I can do it. Fuck yeah. Locate Cobra and defeat him in battle. So we have to assassinate Cobra. This has got to be my favourite side mission in the game. Killing a character that I absolutely despise. But unfortunately, like a lot of the other side missions we've collected thus far, we cannot complete that one just yet. We have to wait until much later in the game when we come back here. Then we can complete it. I just wish there was another side mission. Assassinate Bo Rai Cho. Then my life would be complete. I wouldn't need to play this anymore. I'd be done. Here she is. Let's talk to her. Melina will sink her teeth into you. Will you bite back? I'm going to try. So this is sort of like the Shang Tsung fight challenge where Melina is healing but you are not losing health. So it is doable but the only thing that pisses me off about this fight challenge is that you have to win three rounds of combat. I mean come on, you think that's enough? One round is more than enough for a fight challenge of this calibre. You know, this is just it's out of control. The fight challenges from this point on are just ridiculous. Let's let's give it a go. Defeat Melina three times while she is healing. Round Fuck this. One. Okay, so you've got to be quick basically at attacking her. So I'm just going to get straight into the axe fighting style. Of course, she's blocking. Now the trick here is you've really got to save your breakers. If you must use the breakers, just use one per round. That's sort of what I try and do. Because you don't want to get to the third round and have no breakers left. You really need them for this fight. 
hell! God. Look at her health. I am fucking trying my ass off here. I've got to keep the pressure on her non-stop. Trying not to use any more breakers. God, I've got to be quick here. Oh! Come on. Good. Stop. Fuck! <laughs> if I can get her to use all her breakers as well, that would be good. Alright, so she won the first round. That's okay. I'll try and hold off from using any breakers this round. As you can see, all I'm doing is just this... Well, I'm trying... God, I couldn't, I couldn't handle it, guys. I had to use a break there. You know, not only is this fight challenge difficult in the sense of its conditions, you know, defeat her while she's healing, but Melina is just very tough. She blocks a hell of a lot. Her combos are quite damaging. She sidesteps quite a lot. She's just a fucking bitch to defeat. There we go. Get the hell out of here. I used a breaker on that round, even though I didn't really want to. Don't even bother using special moves, they just take up too much time. You've just got to keep fucking hitting her. God, I so wanted to just use a breaker. She threw me there, so it wouldn't have done any good. Fuck! Look at her health. You see what I mean? You have just got to continually hit her. So as you can see, this is quite difficult. I mean, all I'm really doing is spamming the same moves over and over again, so the AI is probably becoming familiar with that. But still, this is just disgusting. I mean, like I said, one round would have been more than enough for this fight challenge. Why three? Why three? If they had to make it more than one round, just make it like a normal fight and make it two rounds. Why three? Tell me. What is the logic behind having three rounds of this? I don't understand. Is it just to piss off the player? Because it's certainly working. I'm fucking annoyed with this shit. Look at that! You know, she tends to do a lot of juggle moves. Oh, good lord. I don't know if I can even be bothered, guys. You know, it's doable, but... Nah, I'm sorry. I don't want to deal with it. Fuck that shit. I am just sick of these fight challenges. I hate them. Ever since encountering Shang Tsung in the Nether Realm, I'm scarred. I'm tainted. I just absolutely despise them. Punch that bitch. Oh no, I don't. <laughs> oh no, I didn't want to fucking do that. <laughs> uh, does that mean I'm gonna have to try again? I could press start and exit. Round one. I guess we'll give it one more go, let's see. <laughs> what a great start to the fight. She immediately sidesteps and does a good combo. Okay, you know what, if I lose the first round, I'm just pressing start and exiting. Because I've got no chance. I just don't care. Wow, a breaker when she was on the ground. Did you see that? Why did I even bother doing a special move? She wasn't close enough. Okay, got her. Press start. Oh god, get me out of here. I'm done. Get me out. Get me out. Get me out. Return to the map. Yes, I don't want to do this. Like, who came up with these conditions for these fight challenges? Who came up with them? I want to know. I want to know what their thought process was when they came up with the conditions for some of these fight challenges. I mean, three rounds. Fuck off. That is disgraceful. 
You know, I've got a fight challenge of my own. Why don't we make it that your opponent is healing, you are losing health, so that's pretty much the Shang Tsung fight challenge from the Nether Realm already. And not only that, you have to win three rounds of combat and only throws do damage. Yeah, how do you fucking like that? Take that fight challenge. I would love to see someone do that. Absolutely horrendous. And actually, how about this? You must play as Master Bo Rai Cho in his drunken fist style for that fight challenge. How's that? God, I'm just so angry at these fight challenges. For the first Saiden Guardsman, you have to use Bo Rai Cho. Yep. Bo Rai Cho. I feel like just running over here and jumping off the edge and committing suicide. What's the point? I'm done. Fucking hell. Why Bo Rai Cho? Disgusting. There we go. Borai Cho wins. Round two. Fight. I can never escape from this character, can I? He tends to use his hands a lot, Havoc. Oh, what the f <laughs> That was actually forward back circle, which I pressed. He can do weird... Oh, you'll see. Like I said, he's a very strange character, Havoc. Cower before the might of Baraka, or will you defy him? I will defy him. Hopefully. But I have a feeling he's going to kick my ass. Defeat Baraka before you bleed to death. God. Round one. Fight! I guess it wouldn't be too bad, but Baraka is extremely aggressive here. I think you only have to win one round of combat as well, but... Ah, that's it, I'm done. You get hit once, it is over. I might give it a couple more tries, actually. Ooh. This is disgraceful. Look at this. Tried to throw. Oh, you fucking piece of shit. No. Forget it. I just. I cannot be bothered. Look, you can do it. It's just going to take a lot of tries. You know, you have to get lucky in terms of Baraka not blocking and sidestepping. I just can't be bothered, guys. I have absolutely had it with these fight challenges. I will try them. You know, I'll give them a couple of goes, but. I don't want to stress anymore. Because they're not even worth it. I mean, if the reward was something like unlocking a secret character to play as in arcade mode, I might be compelled to do it, but all you get is a measly 300 to 400 random coins. What's the point? And even for that Shang Tsung fight challenge, that's all you get. 400 coins. <laughs> you should get... I don't know, you should get something very significant for completing that fight challenge at least. There should be a chest over here, yep. Let's grab that. 200 ruby coins. And if we go all the way up here, there is a chest which contains another 200 ruby coins. Yep. 200 ruby coins. What's with the ruby coins? Another chest over here. Give me something else. What the fuck? Ruby coins. Why? So, without further ado... Let's talk to Cobra and take care of him. Look at this fuck. He looks even worse when you're not actually in combat with him. I mean, look at him. That is terrible. Look at his hair. I don't even know what to say. Cobra will fight to the death. Do you accept his challenge? Yes, we do. 
I don't mind a bit of a challenge, but when the challenge becomes fucking horrendous, that is unacceptable. Good lord. What the fuck? Is you okay, you're ducking, alright? If you want to keep ducking, I'm just going to keep doing this. Fuck the AI and their ducking bullshit. I've absolutely had it. Ducking, sidestepping. This is like the best move to counter all of that shit. Ermax axe twirl move by pressing back square. Yep, thought I'd give it a go, but I knew he'd block it. This fight challenge, look, I think it's bullshit. It's... It's doable, but... You know what, I'm just going to show you guys. I'll let the fight challenge speak for itself. Let's talk to him. Will you test Sub-Zero's ancestral armor in battle? Yep. Defeat Sub-Zero while you only do 25% of your normal damage. This means it will take four times as long to kill this piece round of shit. One, and oh no, you think this is just one round? No, this is an actual full fight. Two full rounds of this bullshit. Unacceptable, I'm sorry. And of course, he's a notorious blocker and sidestepper. Look at the amount of damage I've done to him. It's barely fucking anything. Oh! I'm sorry, this fight challenge is disgraceful. What the hell? It looked like he just healed then. I swear, I just saw a bit of health go back to him. What the fuck? Let's try a throw. Fuck! You know, the AI is just becoming really good at doing combos. It's funny because I've watched a few videos of Deception's Conquest mode on the Xbox, and let me tell you, the AI is nowhere near as fucking aggressive as they are in the PS2 version. Round one. That's just what I think, but I may be completely wrong about that. Look at that combo! Just... I can't even throw this guy. If you wanted to beat Sub-Zero... Look at that! He won't attack me as I'm sidestepping, but the moment I let go of holding up, he doesn't attack. Fuck this Mortal Kombat, oh, man. Have I told you guys how much I hate Mortal Kombat AI? I think I've only said it about one million times, but that's not enough. It just needs to be said. Why not? God damn it, I pressed the throw button at the exact same time he threw me. It would have been nice if there was a throw tech ability in this game. Of course. Yep, every time I let go of down or up to stop sidestepping, that's when Sub Zero attacks. Can't fucking stand the AI. Pisses me off. <laughs> oh, I love the AI. I love it. Look at this. So how come I can do this, but not the Sub-Zero one? You want to know why? You know exactly why. Because the Sub-Zero AI is fucked beyond belief. Absolutely unacceptable. I think the music's glitching out here. It's in a continuous loop. I don't know why this happens. I mentioned it before. When I play on the emulator, sometimes this happens. And to stop it, basically you just got to do something else, like initiate a fight challenge. 
or whatnot. So I might go ahead and do that now. Kira is here. She is... What the fuck? Wrong button. <laughs> Let's go in this little hut here. <laughs> Look at the scaling. The chest is bigger than me. <laughs> 250 platinum coins. Outrageous. Go inside and this will contain a chest with Darius's alternate costume. Look at that. That's fucking terrible. That sort of reminds me of Tiger from Tekken 3. That costume. You know who that is? Yep, that is Bo Rai Cho here in Outworld. Because if you've been following the story, Bo Rai Cho is actually originally from Outworld. So this is technically his home. Good. I wish he just stayed here forever. As opposed to coming into Earthrealm and tainting it with his presence. Anyway, let's speak to him. This will be a fight challenge. Will you challenge Master Bo Rai Cho in his home realm of Outworld? Yes. And I'm going to beat the shit out of him. Stimulating performance. And the music is glitching out now. Beautiful. That's okay, we're almost done. Now look at this. If you come over here in the corner of the city of Lei Chen at location G1, you'll see Liu Kang walking around. Talk to him. I will talk He'll give to you some later, coins. Friend. What the fuck? I will talk to you later, my friend. That's fucking bullshit. You're supposed to give me coins, ruby coins. I will talk to you later, my friend. Oh, that is fucked. Every other time I've played this game, I swear he's given me coins when you talk to him. So I don't know what the hell is going on there. That's bullshit. Thank God we don't have to fight the Tarkata. Because, as you'll know, if you've watched my playthrough, or walkthrough, should I say, of Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks, you'll know I have an extreme and strong hatred for the Tarkata. Absolutely ruthless enemies in that game, Shaolin Monks. Atrocious. Oh wow, we've got some furniture in this house. Look at that. Two chairs and a table. So whoever lives here must be royalty. Amazing. They'd be able to sit down and eat a meal, for example. Something that most other people can't even do. Like here, for example. What do you do in this house? Put down a mat and sleep. That's it. Now, Liu Kang, I want those coins. I will talk to you later. Oh, my fuck friend. you. You know what? Oh, here we go. I am quite skilled in the art of combat. Do not tempt me. Don't act modest. Show me what you got. I am quite skilled in the art of combat. Do not tempt me. Third time's lucky? No. Nah, okay. I am quite skilled in the art of combat. Yeah, yeah. God damn it. Fucking hell, I'm sick of this shit. You know, I hate the fight challenges in this game. I fucking hate them, they all suck. Fuck fight challenges. I hate it. Got lucky there. Fight challenges ruin conquest mode. Completely. Well, the hard ones do anyway. You know, like I've said before, I do enjoy a challenge. As long as the challenge is acceptable, you know? I mean, this wouldn't be so bad if it wasn't for the fucking ridiculous nature in which Raiden blocks and counters your moves and so on, you know? Come on, one teleport kick. Yes! Hell yeah. Got him. Okay, now, in the front of this house here at location D5, you'll see this guy. Talk to him. He'll give you a side mission. What the fuck? 
Ah, oh, god damn it. Five o'clock he goes back in. That's actually an annoying thing about the Order Realm here. The majority of the people that you can speak to in terms of getting side missions and completing them and whatnot, most of them are only here during daytime. Very rarely will there be some out during nighttime, so I'm just going to meditate. The emissary, Parlos Casina, has not returned in weeks. If you discover his whereabouts, please return to me. I will pay you for any information you uncover. <laughs> Parlos Casina, come on. Once you go and talk to him, that will initiate training with Hotaru. Now the reason I don't want to do that just yet is because I fucking hate Hotaru. I think he's an absolute rubbish character. He's only got two special moves. I don't like his combos. I just can't stand him. So I don't want to do his training yet because I want to try and do the fight challenges with Melina first, you know, because currently I'm playing as Melina for the fight challenges. I want to try and keep that going for as long as possible. Look at this. Look at him. How often do we see Bo Rai Cho? Pretty much every fucking realm I've gone into, I've seen this piece of shit. Why? Why does he need to be put everywhere? I hate him. Fucking hell. Anyway, talk to him or punch him. And that will initiate a fight challenge. And actually, look at this. In between Blue Town and Green Town here. Roughly at this location on the map, C6. You'll see Mocap strutting about. Look at him. What a fucking disgraceful character. You could actually play as him in Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance. Fucking disgusting. Basically his character is just a joke, you know. It's in relation to motion capturing. You know, for digitized actors and whatnot in the old school Mortal Kombat games. And they thought it would be funny to put a character you know, literally a motion capturing character like this in the game. He has got to be one of the worst characters in Mortal Kombat history. Fucking disgraceful. So, naturally, everyone is going to want to punch that guy. And you're rewarded for it. With a video. Coffin AF unlocks Cho Jio video. Excellent. I love how it's just a reward to punch that guy. <laughs> they must know that everyone would have punched him. You son of a bitch, you stole Scorpion's fighting style from Deadly Alliance. Now you will learn secret Satan fighting moves. I will teach you our special attacks. They fucking suck. Grasshopper. A rip-off of Liu Kang's bicycle kick. He just does it a little bit differently. Side on. Well done. Now try this one. This is even worse. Look at this. Watch what happens when I press down back square. Okay. You can't be too close. Nor can you be too far. You have to be at the perfect fucking distance. For this move to hit. It is a terrible move. I mean the only redeeming feature of it is that the opponent gets flung towards you so you can follow up with an air juggle combo but <sighs> hitting them proves very difficult in a real battle you know it's fucked you have found your man i am darius i look forward to resisting arrest defeat darius to suppress the riding okay let's do that Ugh, fucking hell. Have I told you guys how much I hate Hotaru? Okay, Darius is a notorious ducker for this fight. So I might just use some Naginata combos to throw him off a bit. Why did I even bother trying to do that move? Fight. 
I don't even know what combos to do. Like, he just doesn't have any good combos. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. Jesus. And great, the music's glitching out. Fucking piece of shit. I can't stand it when this happens. You know, I usually do about three test runs of an area before I do the final recording. And on all the previous three test runs, the music was perfect the whole time. And now, when I'm doing the recording, it fucks up. Fuck you, game. And as you can see, look who it is. It's that unacceptable creature, Shang Tsung. And no, this isn't a fight challenge. Well, actually, it is a fight, but... It's not like the Netherrealm fight challenge. All we have to do here is defeat him in two rounds of combat. But first, let's see what he's doing here. Are you fucking kidding me? The music shat itself again? Listen to this. What the fuck? Fucking piece of shit. The katana... I don't have any breakers left. Fuck! <clears throat> I tend to lose a few times when fighting Raiden. It's no big deal. Why isn't the fuck? This is really starting to piss me off. I fucking had it. I just... Damn it! Done. One more round to go, I can do it. I've still got two breakers left. He's only got one breaker. Jesus. What the fuck? Oh god, I'm just, I'm panicking. I'm fucking panicking right now. God damn! Fuck! Round three. I hate. I ha I hate this fight. Look at that! Look at that! It just doesn't. I don't know. Kenshi just seems to do weak damage. Maybe I should be doing bigger combos or something. I just suck with him. That's basically all it is. But anyway, there you go. Once you defeat Nightwolf, you get his alternate costume. Look at that costume. <sighs> that is awful. I will never wear that alternate costume. His normal costume, his default costume, is perfect. So let's get straight into it. Now the first one... <laughs> The first side quest that we have to do, funnily enough, involves everyone's, well, I'm not going to say everyone's, but the majority of people's most hated Mortal Kombat character, and that is none other than Su Hao. So where is that fuck? There he is. He's always sort of walking around this location here, F5. Or sometimes over here, E5. Alright. So we need to talk to him. And he will give us a side mission. But, you know, I feel I owe it to everyone that's been watching my videos so far. I feel I owe it to the fans of Mortal Kombat. I owe it to pretty much humanity in general. To do what I'm about to do. And that is to punch this piece of shit in the face. Unfortunately, we don't have a... MG42 machine gun, you know, anything like that where I can just completely obliterate this guy, so punching's just gonna have to do, so let's do it. There we go. <laughs> have you gone insane? <laughs> have you gone insane? Alright, so if you keep trying to punch him after that, watch what happens. 
he gets smart he just blocks and punches you so to save further embarrassment from being knocked on my ass I'm just gonna talk to this guy find employment for the assassin Su Hao what a bum we gotta find this guy a job look at him he's just wandering around the woods aimlessly fucking find a job yourself you lazy piece of shit absolutely useless character unacceptable disgraceful atrocious horrendous the worst character in the series I don't care if someone says they love this character or not I I hate him with every bone in my body so unfortunately we have to help him so we might as well do that right now and to do that we need to locate Mavado. Let's go inside here first before we go back to Su Hao. Nothing. Just a table. Where's the chairs? What the hell's going on here? How can you just have a table with nothing else? What kind of a place is this? At least in Earthrealm, I remember when I was going through there. You know, I'd walk in some of the houses and there was a table with a chair. So at least the person could sit down, have a meal. You know, basically just at least sit down. But there, there was just a table. So what do they do? Stand at the table and eat? Oh my god, what is this place? Okay, so let's finally go back to Su Hao and tell him that we found a job for him found him employment what a disgrace where is he there he is let's talk to him a table and two chairs what an upgrade I'd much prefer that house than that room in the palace what the fuck what the hell? Was that real? Did that just happen? I saw a lady walking in mid-air. Must have been a glitch or something, I don't know. Look at that, I've still got that sack of flour. Bloody hell. I can't get rid of it either because I can't go back to the Earthrealm village. Which is where we need to go in order to complete that side quest. Oh well. Look at that! If he hits you a couple of times, it's pretty much over because not only is that going to damage you, it just wastes too much time, you know. You've got to be really quick at... Okay, no chance now. No chance at all. I still damaged him a fair bit there, though. What am I doing? What a mess. Round one. Fight. And if you actually think this is a hard fight challenge, my goodness, wait till a bit later on in the video when we encounter the likes of Dyro and Scorpion. And we have to fight Tanya a bit later on as well, but that's not actually a fight challenge, that's one of the main Round missions. One. My goodness, fight. that is an absolutely atrocious fight. <laughs> Fucking disgusting. Because the thing is, we have to actually use Shujinko to defeat her. Fucking hell! This is horrendous! I can do this, guys, Fight. believe me. <laughs> See, for a lot of the fight challenges, you've just got to get a bit lucky. You know, you need the AI to relent for a little bit and stop with the blocking bullshit. I mean, look at that. Look at how much he blocked. Come on. You just need to get lucky 
Round and hope that he one. doesn't block that much. Fight. What if I just keep doing this? No, you don't. Oh my god. Alright, you know what? Fuck this. I'm just going to give it one more go. If I can't do it, I just don't care anymore. I've had it. Round one. Fight. I just can't take it anymore. I'm fucking sick of this shit. I really am, you know. Look at this! Havoc wins. There's just no compelling reason to do any of the fight challenges in this game. There really isn't. You know, you get a shit amount of coins, like 300, 400 coins. Who cares? It's stupid. It's an insult. Especially for that notorious Shang Tsung fight challenge in the Nether Realm, you still only get 300 to 400 coins for completing it. That is completely unacceptable. Makes me sick. Nope, see, I could have done it, but she. Oh, man. You know, these fight challenges are actually causing me a bit of stress now. Like, I can feel my heart rate getting up. Especially when I hear that countdown on the timer. Indicating I've only got 10 seconds left. Kira wins. One more go. If I can't do it, once again, I don't care. Round. This is the worst I've done. Kira okay. Wins. Goodbye, Kira. Good riddance. Fuck you. So that's another fight challenge I couldn't complete. Who cares? Oh, come on, this is it. Bullshit. Round one. Just stop it, please, game. Compared to others, but see, the thing is, I don't know, I feel like the AI is just getting a little bit more aggressive. This is the last realm to explore after all, so I guess that's understandable. I'm not blocking enough, I'm not doing breakers enough. I'm not even focusing enough, that's the problem. Okay, nope, I'm done. I'm out, get me out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I am done. You know, I'm only going to give these fight challenges a few goes. If I can't do it, I'm sorry. Goodbye. I've already got more than enough coins to unlock everything in the crypt. I don't even need the coins. You know, these fight challenges are just a waste of my time now. But I'm just trying to do them to show you guys what they entail and how fucked up they are. And there will be another fight challenge right here in amongst these trees it will involve sure you can can Ken from Street Fighter there he is oh sorry Cobra from Mortal Kombat let's talk to him Cobra will test his might against you do you accept his challenge this is a fight challenge I just simply cannot do but I'm just gonna show you guys to prove how fucking bullshit it is look at that defeat Cobra in 30 seconds while you are only doing half damage Round unacceptable one. completely unacceptable it would be doable if it wasn't for this constant blocking bullshit and interrupting of my attacks by the AI. And maybe if I had a bit more fucking time as well. Look how quick that punch was! I suspect that a lot of these fight challenges were never tested properly prior to this being released. 
because they're just so inconsistent, you know, like, Round here one. we are in a Denia, Fight. and quite a lot of the fight challenges already have been bullshit. I mean, admittedly, I have been playing like shit, but this is just one I find very hard to do. I don't know why. It doesn't sound too bad, but half damage is pretty bad. Oh wow, he's not blocking a lot. What the hell is going on, Cobra? You fucking wow! Oh my god, I could have fucking done it! If he didn't stop interrupting my attacks, that piece of shit. Look at his face. It's all bloodied up. Beautiful. You see... <laughs> Bro, I shouldn't have even done that, it just takes up too much time. Okay, goodbye Cobra, have fun. I'm out. And if you go over here, you will see Scorpion. This is another fight challenge. Now, this fight challenge is... It's one of the worst in the game. It really is. Get over here, will you go over there? Ugh. It's hard. It's a very hard fight challenge. Just look at the criteria. Defeat Scorpion despite him doing 300% damage and healing. 300% damage! Which basically means two to three hits and you are absolutely toast. You cannot get hit at all. Always use your breakers. <gasps> Fuck! Alright, let's give it one more go. We'll see what happens here. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Healing as well. I mean, come on. One more go, one more go, one more go. You got a flawless victory there, so that's not good. Round one. Fight! Shit! Look at my health already! Scorpion wins flawless victory. Again! Oh, it's because of the healing bullshit, that's why. I was wondering, I was hitting him then a bit. And then I realized, oh, that's right, he heals. Goodbye, Scorpion. Thanks for the matches. And while we're here, I might as well make my blood go beyond boiling point and give the Dyro fight challenge a go. You're gonna love this one guys, this one's gonna be beautiful. Have a look. Dairo has hunted you down, will you defend against him? Highly unacceptable this fight challenge. Only throws do damage. Okay, so that's not too bad. We've had quite a few of those fight challenges throughout the game and we've been relatively successful. They do take up a bit of time though because throws don't do that much damage. But not only that, we cannot block. Why? Why was that necessary? You know, it's just, it makes it very hard because even when you sidestep, 90% of the time, Dairo still hits you. It's disgraceful. And he loves ducking. Oh, Got lucky there. Look at that! It would just be so good if I could block, you know what I mean? Then this would be easy as hell. Oh my god, I did it! I did it! Oh, 
<laughs> that's right, that's why I find this one to be absolutely horrendous. It's two rounds. Yep. Okay, I'm done. Yep. You know what? No. Sorry. No deal. No deal. <laughs> I thought I actually did it then for a second and then realized, oh no, that's right. Of course. The game can't be that fucking forgiving. I will decide later. Here is your reward. 500 platinum coins. Now watch him. Look at him. Look at this. <laughs> Look at him. Talk to him. I do not feel very well. Yep, now watch. Dead. There you go. That's one less soldier of Shao Kahn's army to worry about. Thank you, Shujinko, and good luck. Ugh, good luck. I'm gonna need it. So here we go. We have to defeat Tanya in order to free Queen Sindel. This is... Make no mistake, this is a very, very difficult fight. It is horrendous, okay? Because we're not using Lee Mei to do this fight. We have to actually fight as Shujinko here. And, you know, we don't have any special moves yet with him. So we're basically fucking useless. All we have is combos in the Mantis and Shaolin Fist style. We don't even have combos in our sword. Oh man, it's just a disgrace. Anyway, let's do it before I lose my mind. Now, why is she so hard? I don't know. She just is. She blocks a lot, sidesteps a lot. Shujinko fucking sucks. Look at this. Look, look at the combos in his sword fighting style. Square, square. And it's pathetic. It is so slow, that attack, that combo. It is shit. And after you've done it, it leaves you vulnerable to attack because there's a bit of a recovery period. It's absolutely terrible. Special moves? None, except a throw. Look at this! I mean, he's got good combos, but look at that! Who can remember how to do all that shit? No one. No, get out of that sword. Oh, shit. No! That was it. Fucking hell! What's going on? That's what I'm pressing. Square, triangle, circle, L1, square. Do it! Do it, Shujinko. What the hell is wrong with you? Shujinko wins. I hate this character. Round two. Oh, that was it. Come on. I swear to God, if I've actually put my head down into my hands right now. Hang on, I just need to recover from that. Just... Just give me a... Oh, man. I don't understand how this game can be so cruel sometimes. There is just no compassion from this game whatsoever. Absolutely fucking unrelenting. Inflicts so much pain on you that you will no longer feel the pain because it's just become an accepted reality. Okay guys, I'm just going to cut it to when I finally do defeat her because I honestly don't know how long this is going to take. Damashi, what has he done to you? Let him go. Shujinko, please save me. <laughs> oh, fool. 